Now let's consider a situation where the null is false. Okay, so a true difference exists between the groups. So for this example, let's say that we're comparing uh, males and females, and we're comparing the proportion of movies that they watch that are action-oriented movies. So, in other words, is there a difference between males and females in the proportion of action movies that they watch out of the total movies that they watch? I think you would probably agree with me that males, on average, probably watch more action-oriented movies than females. So, let's assume that's true for a moment. So, the truth is, of the movies selected, males select a higher proportion of action-based movies than do females, on average. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't great individual differences. There could be many women who watch more action-oriented movies than some males. But overall, on average, males tend to watch a higher rate of action-oriented movies than do females. So if that's the truth as our backdrop here, suppose we conduct our hypothesis test and our numbers indicate that we should accept the null. So in other words, when we conduct the hypothesis test, say we get, even though we conduct a random sample, we get a, a group of females who tend to watch more action movies, or maybe they only watch, maybe they're married and they only watch movies with their husband. And so their husband's watching action movies and that's what they watch too, and we sampled the female. So we get a higher rate of action movies among females than is normally the case because of the makeup of our sample. So in that example, our data lead us to accept the null or fail to reject the null, but the null really is false. So if the null is false, but we accept it, an error has been made, and that's known as a type 2 error. And for our formal definition, the type 2 error is when we accept the null hypothesis when it is false. And once again, if it's false, we shouldn't accept it. That's why it's an error. We should reject it. But in the above example, our data led us to accept the null or to fail to reject the null when the null really was false because we know in truth that males watch a higher rate of action-oriented movies than do females. But it was just that our sample led us not to conclude that. So in summary, the type 1 error, once again, is you reject the null when it's true. And if it's true, we should not reject it. That's why it's an error. And the type 2 error is when we accept the null when it is false. And if it's false, we should not accept it, right? That's why that's an error as well. Okay, that's it for our introduction to type 1 and type 2 errors. Thanks for watching.